questions. The Dow ended the day fairly flat, down about 122 points. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ also took losses today. The S&P was off more than 1%. The NASDAQ was down more than 2%. Joining us now is Lori Bettinger. She is the president of Bank Alliance, a network of community banks. She's also the former director of the Troubled Asset Relief Program, an initiative created and operated by the U.S. Treasury Department. Lori, great to see you as always. So according to the U.S. Labor Department, the number of initial jobless claims increased for the week ending April 9th and was higher than what economists predicted. However, the number still remains around historically low levels. So how would you characterize today's jobs report? Thanks, Tana. You know, I would say that this is still a really positive jobs report. As you mentioned, there was a slight uptick but when you look at the four week average, which I think is really important to do so that, you know, you don't have an outsized movement in one week, you know, having you cry, oh, something's, you know, really going wrong or, oh, we're on a great trend. I think the four week average is important. It barely moved. It ticked up very, very slightly, but it was essentially unchanged. And also the continuing claims continue to just sort of fall. And I think we're almost at a 50 year low. So the job market remains strong. You know, we're seeing a lot of movement among employees. We're seeing employees have a lot of choices to where they want to go work. So I think it was another strong report today. Right. So to your point, do you think we are at a place where things are as good as they're going to get? And some of those jobs that were just lost during the pandemic simply aren't coming back? It's such a good question. And I think we, we're going to continue to see a strong labor market. I think that there probably are some jobs that might not come back. You know, we will see growth in other areas, but let's just look at, you know, travel and hospitality. If you look at hotels, there were some changes made during the pandemic. You know, I think many hotels cut back on things like daily housekeeping. And in some cases have decided that this is, you know, this has cut some of their costs and they might want to stick with this pattern. So, you know, do all those jobs come back? I'm not sure. Restaurants have done things to address the staffing shortage that, you know, involves sort of needing perhaps, you know, fewer servers up front. So some of those jobs, maybe that's a fundamental transition, maybe in commercial downtowns where you just have fewer commuters coming back five days a week. But I don't think that that's going to sort of fundamentally change the job market. And I think that, you know, these sectors that have been so strong recently are just going going to continue to look for new employees. Right. Okay. And so, Lori, the U.S. Uh, Commerce Department also released a report today showing that retail sales increased by 0.5% last month. Why do you think consumer spending continues to rise despite high inflation rates? Well, that, I think that there's two factors going on here. One, consumer spending is going up because of inflation, right? You're spending more on gas, you're spending more on food. So even if, you know, you're not saying, oh, I feel, you know, like this would be a good time for me to go make major purchases. If you're buying exactly the same amount of items that you did last month, you're going to be spending more. But I think we're also seeing a little bit of a shift away from some of the goods that really dominated, you know, so many months towards services. We are seeing more people, you know, going out, eating in restaurants, and that's the sectors that, you know, I think where we saw an uptick. But when you look at this increase, I think a lot of it was just due to inflation and paying more for the exact same goods and services that you were purchasing, you know, last month or the month prior. It's not so much that, you know, you're going on a spending spree. You just have to spend more money to buy what you already planning to do. A really good point. All right, Lori Bettinger of Bank Alliance. Thank you so much for joining us. As always, we appreciate your insight. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Tanya Rivero. Here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. The man accused of shooting up a New York City subway car 